How's everyone doing? My name is Bass, and this is a quick video. Let's say quick, it's 11 minutes long. To show you how to install Windows 8 on your Mac using VMware. So, first of all, you want to put the ISO file of Windows 8 onto an external hard drive or onto your computer. Then boot up VMware, then go File, New, and then Add New Machine. Then you want to select your ISO like I just done there. Go ahead and hit continue. Now this is VMware version 4, so there's no support for Windows 8. But not to worry, just do as I do now. There we go, and I'll select Windows 7. And when this will allow you to install it, however it won't allow you to mirror the image of the desktop or your files properly like you can with Windows 7 and Mac OS. Uh, this is the setup I'm going to run with, Windows 7, 1 gig worth of RAM, but I upgrade that later on, since I've got 16 gig to use. Uh, running with 1 gig worth of RAM don't really work too well, I recommend at least 2 gig, but you can customise it. When you go ahead and save your machine, I suggest you change the name of it to Windows 8, like I do now, that would be the title of your folder in the virtual machine section so go ahead and hit save then you can let the machine go and boot up so it's booting up now okay there's the windows 8 logo or the new microsoft logo just go ahead and wait a little bit now i sped this video up a fair little bit so when it loads Okay, we're getting somewhere. Install took about half an hour. That was from start to finish. It could have been a bit faster. Um, but so sort of how it is running. Right. So when you get to this page, just go ahead and fill out the information as usual. Obviously, uh, make sure you get it right. If not, you can go ahead and change afterwards. But so you don't want any hassle of having to do that. Once it's done, go ahead and uh, to change my keyboard. For some reason my Mac has an American keyboard. Don't know why. When I uh, bought it in Britain. Okay, then go ahead and click Next. Install now. Nothing has really changed into Windows 7 in terms of the install. I believe it's a bit slow because I never allocated enough RAM, um, so it's partially my fault. But now you need to go ahead and enter your serial. Um, I've edited my bit out so that no one can register another serial of mine. Once that's done, go ahead and do what I just done in very fast motion. Basically, you want to install it as a new install, non upgrade. This is for VMware. And go ahead and follow the instructions on the page, or on the screen, I should say. Then it'll go and do all this little fancy install. Your virtual machine may boot a couple of times during the process. Uh, again, I blocked out my bit there, but you'll have to enter your information from your Microsoft account. That includes security information. So if you have a Hotmail account, then uh, we'll go ahead and ed enter it all there. So as you can see, I spread this up dramatically. This bit I thought was rather annoying. It just went on for quite a while. Okay, that's just very uh, much fruit. And then you are greeted by the Metro interface, which is absolutely horrible. Hate it. Now I can sort of talk you through Windows 8 a little bit. Uh, I've only used the developer preview for a little bit of time. Uh, I generally don't like Windows 8 because it don't have a start menu. You got to use the Metro UI, which I'm not a fan of, as I just said. Uh, 
and there'll be more videos to come concerning uh, Windows 8. I will do some more tutorial videos. This hasn't been the best video going, but it's just a brief short intro just to show that you can install Windows 8 on the Mac through VMware version 4. Remember, that's the main purpose of this video. Version 5 of VMware, which you can upgrade to right now, allows for full functionality of Windows 8. But I'm, I'm not planning on being a full user of Windows 8. Because, um, like I said, I don't up for Windows 7 over Windows 8. If they had, if Windows 8 had the start bar, well, Windows 8 worked the same way as Windows 7, just with the new upgraded features, then it'd be a goodbye. But to me, this does not. It does look nice, but it don't work that well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a like rating and also subscribe for more Windows 8 tutorials and tips, which will be coming out over the next couple of days or weeks. So, again, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Thanks for watching and have a good day.